Alright, uh, okay. Enterprise uh, users. <laughs> What are we doing first? Final Cut Pro or? or, or I, 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 well, they're kind of both interrelated. It's like, okay, for those of you who don't know, Apple has released a half appeasement. I don't know what else to call it to the Final Cut Pro users. Uh, there's, uh, there's still a bunch of things they can't do that they want to do. And if you're wondering why Bits Face keeps coming up and going down and coming up and going down. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't figure it out. Both of us have an upload capability right now in excess of a megabyte and a download capability in excess of six megabytes. Yet Skype keeps telling us we don't have enough bandwidth. So we have no fucking idea what's going exactly. on. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it right. just, all right so yeah go ahead and start off with this final cut pro thing yeah it, it basically they created they've released an update it's addressing some of the pros complaints uh but it's still missing a lot of things they want like there's no way to really take their old uh final cut seven things and bring them into Final Cut 10. <laughs> uh, they're still missing some pro things they want. Some of the, you know, basically it it's still less than Final Cut 7 was in many ways. Uh, in terms of pro stuff uh, and some of the features the pros want and they can't really bring their Final Cut 7 workloads over to Final Cut 10 and that's just, you know, the if if you're doing your editing as a job, that's a fail. You know, there, there's plenty of Apple fans who are really using Final Cut to make hobbyist stuff. Who are like, I don't know what you pros are complaining about. It does everything. Okay, uh, it, no it doesn't. <laughs> so, I have a good friend on here because he, he, he has certifications in Final Cut. I heard certifications. Oh, am I out again? I, I, I heard he has certifications in. <laughs> He's so, yeah, he is so pissed um, about what Apple did to, to Final Cut Pro. Uh, he just back up with uh, Avid. He, but I just know he's really pissed. Yeah, it, it, I mean, there, and honestly, based on what I'm reading that this update does, I don't think it's enough. To, to really appease them. Uh, they added some features like multicam and stuff, but it's in beta, which means, you know, it's basically, well, if it doesn't work or it doesn't work like you want it to, we here at Apple basically state that that's not a feature. Right. Yeah, it, hey, okay, you want to try this on Yahoo Messenger? I'm just curious. Are we getting throttled by Skype? I'm thinking we might be, because we went on for over an hour. Yeah, okay, let's try Yahoo. Sure, why not? Okay, wrapping up. Uh, yeah, we had a plan to get Yahoo, but password pending, that's not an option. Yes, because I don't freaking use it. <laughs> I, 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 I think you're right. They've got to be throttling us, because both of us have more than enough bandwidth right now to be... <laughs> Uh, thank you, Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's right, they own Skype. Yeah, one of these days we really have to do a show for who screws you more. You know, we, sh we should have a, you know what, that should be the theme for the thing I can't talk about yet for a few months. But that, but that should be the underlying theme for that particular thing. You know, who gets the screw you award? Because it really is a, <laughs> it's like, is it this one, this one, or that one? Or maybe yeah. that one. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we're, uh, we're talking about... It, it says an update in this article. It says, we spoke again with the production systems consultant right, in order to get uh, the reaction to the latest update. Overall, they seem to believe that 10.0.3 update from Apple does have some promising elements. But it's probably too little, too late for the community. Now, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Reading about 7 to X, which is like this XML transfer to you to, to import uh, files from Final Cut Pro to 7 to Final Cut 10, um, it doesn't seem to be a, as high fidelity a conversion as I'd expect. Apple had done it themselves. Great for third party and for upgrades. Um, 
upgraders to be able to move forward, but the cynics will read up on the limitations and justifiably complain Apple should have shipped able to open old projects or made sure intelligent systems could have done so with perfect fidelity. That's and it, and it still is not a full conversion. You basically lose stuff and you have to redo it. Yeah, that sucks, man. Wow. And, 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 and again, that's not a big deal if you're doing this as a hobby. If this is your workload, if this is your archives of stuff and others, you just lost thousands of dollars worth of work that now has to be redone. Well, if you choose to upgrade, I mean, you can continue just using, like, I have Final Cut. I, have well, uh, I, I know, but that basically means Final Cut is an end-of-line product then, you know, oh, end-of-life. You're right, you're right, you're right. I, oh, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which again, you know, it's that's why the pros are pissed. They're like, so basically, we have to find another solution. Got it, Apple. Bye. <laughs> it's like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. My friend says a lot of the industry are 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 leaving Apple over this. So. Yeah, and this was one of the few things in which Apple had an industry. You know. Yeah, they were pretty solid. They they had a great uh, but, showing. Well, no, and, and this, this this really does go to show that no matter how entrenched you are in an industry, if you release an update or a newer version that just is a unilateral depart from what your core professional customer base has come to expect from your product, you undermine it, and it's you, you that's hard to undo. And it seems Apple's done a pretty dang good job of it here. You know, yeah. it, it's it, 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 it's still a good hobby editor. It's not like it's a crappy editor. It's just it's missing a lot of the things that these people needed. And yeah, I, I you know I don't know. Um, I, I I haven't downloaded. I haven't even demoed it or anything. So I could. But I just go off the friends that I know that have. Well, done. and some of the things that are being complained about. I understand perfectly if you're a professional, but Apple fanboys are never going to understand. Like, one of the complaints is a lack of tape support, you know, just cutting out legacy technology and other things. And that makes perfect sense for Pro, because you're not going to spend the 20 hours to, you know, convert this over to this. and No, you want it to work with all your legacy shit that you have back there. You, you don't have the time to convert it all to digital. That's not an issue for somebody doing a hobby. That's a huge issue for somebody doing professional video editing because they got to splice in stuff off a of tape. They don't want to convert it to digital, just be able to splice it in. That's just, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the Apple Enterprise. Will this be the year of Apple and the Enterprise? <laughs> And, it's, and uh, this kind of rubs me the wrong way a little bit, but yeah, it's a f it, 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 yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it's a can the fluff take over? <laughs> <laughs> in some way, with the iPhone and iPad, it's already gotten a toehold in the workplace. Apple is, you know, they're like talking about Apple's never been considered an enterprise technology company, but it owns a significant share of the mobile enterprise market, largely due to the success of the iPhone and iPad. See, I would beg to differ and say I don't think they own much of anything in the enterprise market. I don't either. I do. Yeah, I, 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 what I honestly, will say is that they have users that are in enterprise that either have a black, they're, they're using two phones, the BlackBerry, which is provided by the business. I, 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 I would honestly argue where that Apple's allowed to participate, but I've heard those cases and, and IT is not happy. No, and, uh, no. It, 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 honestly, the, the two solutions that they're, they're, the industry is happy with in that regard are Android and Phone 7. Uh, and uh, for other solutions, BlackBerry. If you need an iPhone-like device, though, they're happy well, with. I don't know much of enterprise with Android. I mean, because I've heard IT also bitch at that. But um, I mean, BlackBerry. Everywhere I go, you know, I travel around. Uh, okay, there's okay. There, there's Apple. two types of enterprise, though. Uh, for like the traditional executive enterprise. Yes, BlackBerry. For the we need custom in-house solutions on this platform, Android and Phone 7. Because of what they are. Do you have case studies on that? Or? I'm just curious. 
I bet Google does. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I don't have them in yeah. front of me. Google has some case studies on that. The companies that are liking Android is because you can basically... Wait a minute. I know a lot of companies that do like Android. As partic Particularly, I know a lot of lawyers that like Android uh, that I work with. And... <laughs> Um, and, and that and that right there is the sure. perfect example of the type of companies who like it. They want to create an app or something for managing their stuff, but they don't want it on the Google Marketplace. And, well, and, 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 and I, I don't consider that enterprise ish, but I mean it's definitely a company. I don't, yeah. I, I, yeah okay. Okay. And, and and Android gives them the solution they need to just do this whole in-house thing. Uh, it, it's it's the best for that now. There's all there's other people who like Phone Seven, and I'm sure will like Win Eight for the same reason because it also will provide the same thing. You know, they can just write an app. That's something they will never be able to do on the i platform. Uh, it's and so on. You know, and if all you people, all you people out there are going, oh, just jailbreak your iPhones. Okay, this is a company; they're not going to do that. You know, it's like, unless they're a design house. It's this balance. Feature where they'll help you through their own app world that basically makes mandatory installs. Like if it's a company phone and it participates in a company network, it, it, it'll even it'll block all the fluff side of your phone from you know, from even communicating with the enterprise side of the phone, and will mandate enterprise installs. And it's I mean it's pretty powerful what BlackBerry's got in there. I heard Android is doing the same thing. Yeah. Like, all right, now all of it. So it goes on and says that. Uh, well, that's all fluff at the plug. It says to understand Apple's position vis-a-vis -vis the enterprise. It's helpful to first look back. That's earlier efforts to meet the needs of business. Yes, that's the old Apple I actually like. Uh, Apple, <laughs> Apple has been working to provide enterprise-made solutions since before the release of Mac OS X. Of course, it was. See, so develop both server operating systems. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Yeah, that stuff's all dead. <laughs> Let's see, it says, uh, buy the Macs and Mac servers from Apple, then hire Apple engineers to also help design, build, and troubleshoot your infrastructure. That probably shouldn't work out so well in bringing in new converts. That's true. Then. Well, Sorry, even uh, the, the only thing in this I really agree with is the uh, BYOD, you know, like the bring your own beer, bring your own device. You know, it, it, that's the only way in which I see Apple having an enterprise presence really going thing, and that people have an iPhone and are like, can I use my iPhone here? And can we do it on my iPhone? And, and the ID department goes, I guess you're a partner. I have to say yes. <laughs> wow, look at this. Look at this. Apple throws out its enterprise playbook and cancels some products. Now, here. See, over the past few years, Apple suddenly shifted its enterprise away, away from its own solutions. While still updating and supporting OS X Server and the XServe, the company began building enterprise integration as a hallmark of OS X and iOS. Oh, it's been that, wait a minute, no. Wait, the company began building enterprise integration? No. Very little. Uh, like Active Directory Exchange and more recently Windows distributed file system support. But, but see, they don't have any of the back, and that's just solely mobile to mobile. What are you going to do? Yeah, well, we're going to do this over iCloud, sir. You know, I mean, come on. Let's which, that, which, which, you know what? I'm sorry, that may work for personal level and low security stuff. Uh, no way are larger companies with more secure stuff going to allow that. If they have a halfway competent IT department, they'll go, no way in hell are we allowing that outside of our control. Yeah, that, see, the thing of it is, it's not you're, you have enterprise features, but you're not enterprise. I mean, it's you. They abandoned the whole back end, the X, the X serve, and OS X server. They're not even interested in that. And that's fine. They, they who's going to complain? They have ninety-seven billion dollars in the bank. So, you know, I guess until they they begin to hurt, can can this become a relevant conversation? So.